before this video starts, we just want to give a great shout out and a very big thank you to Chew on This uh, Nerds United podcast. They gave us a shout out last night on Facebook. Well, I mean, last night, as in like last week by the time this episode's out. Uh, you should guys should check them out on Facebook. It's going to be out tomorrow. Oh, shit. Okay, two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they gave us a shout out. We want to say thank you so much to the group. Uh, they didn't have to, but they did. And they watched our video. Uh, yeah, they watched one of our videos, so uh, they understand the Michael Pena joke very well. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you so much. Check out their content uh, and, you know, give them love. It's on iTunes, but I mostly would recommend watching them on Facebook because I don't have an iPhone. Bruh. But they live stream all their podcasts on Facebook. So they're they're cool. I like their podcasts. So And they interview some celebrities, so I would go check them out. They're really cool. Really, really cool. Thank you so much. In the wait is finally over. WandaVision dropped, and not only with one episode, but it blessed us with two full episodes. You're like... Well, would you consider the first episode a full episode? It was like 20 minutes. And the other one was also like 20 minutes. Well, it was actually like 30. It was like 20 minutes with like six minutes of like fucking credits. <laughs> Dude, I noticed that. I thought it was going to be something at the end. Like, no. Like a spoiler. Like, oh, yeah. I, 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 skipped to the, I skipped to the end to see if there's any post credits, but there's not. Yeah. Nah, it's just like, hey, here's who translated this show in yeah. other languages. And oh like, my God. And like 100 different languages. Yeah. Right I mean, that's crazy that they do that. Yeah, but you know, hey, Marvel's a worldwide brand, so they kind of have to at this point. Really? Or Disney. Disney's a worldwide brand. Well, yeah, Marvel too. What about that knee? Huh? What about that knee? If Disney's worldwide, what about that knee? Hey, we're downsizing in this video right now. <laughs> you know who is Mr. Worldwide, though? <gasps> Damn. But, I hope he doesn't get COVID. <laughs> what, what the bro, fuck? What the fuck? So random. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's... All hey, right, anyway, WandaVision. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who's in this video? All right, let's see. I'm Alan, your host for this video, and I'm joined by... Uh, uh, oh, man, that wasn't good. <laughs> uh, Aldo Pineda. I'll have one of these. Uh, me, Louis. Me, 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 Louis. Me, Louis. Me, so Louis. Uh, me, so Louis. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Louis, after you said after that podcast. Oh, my God. We should have watched the podcast this month. Oh, yeah, because, oh, God. The oh Jar Jar. <laughs> the Jar Jar discussion. <laughs> Did you ever see the video I sent you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He's like, fuck, I got to. <laughs> oh, don't spoil it. <laughs> no, you got to bleep that out. That's right, like, right. I was like, like the, the comment came out years ago. Like, well, yeah, but, like, yeah. They, the, viewer, the viewers aren't going to know fucking casuals. They're, they're going to experience it. <laughs> they're going to experience first time in a podcast. Podcast. Yeah, with us. <laughs> oh my god, okay. And then, uh, it's the good stuff. All right. So, uh, well, Alan, what are we doing? The end credits. What are we doing? All right, well, first, WandaVision. What do you guys think of it as, like, the first two episodes? Like, initial, th what are your initial thoughts on it? My positives, I guess, are going to be the fact that uh, the, the 50s aesthetic, or, like, the whole, that sort of. Oh, old -timey uh, show. Be before you start, I just have to say this will be this will contain spoilers. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. review yeah, it has to have spoilers. Well, we could do a no spoiler review, but then that's taking out like a spoiler review. That's like and so no vague, like saying yeah, we saw Wanda and it's cool and it's funny. Yeah, so watch this, it. so this video will have spoilers. So make sure you watch the episodes, or if you don't watch it, if you don't care about spoilers, well, then you know. Yeah, yeah. then I can you're watch. My of, you're my type of person. All right, uh, continue. Uh, yeah, the the whole fifties, uh, like old school oldie show type vibe uh is primo i love it i love i love the the aesthetic i'm a sucker for that sort of vibe dude like i really love like the first episode well, i like how it was filmed like a 50 show mm -hmm. like all the like aesthetics it, it's framed to look to be a 50 show like the special effects quote unquote yeah weren't they, very like, like, they were like, very like, the, like the sparkles Dude, like it's it's campy, it's corny, but it's I feel like it it's hits all the yeah. it's enjoyable. It hits all the right marks for like a fifty sitcom. Like yeah, you, it's I don't want to say that you expect it, but how do you say like it feels like a fifty yeah, like, sitcom. Like if you if Vision and Wanda were acted out in like the fifties, well this this feels like almost like a like if it could be like a remake of a Wanda Vision show made back then. Yeah, exactly, honestly, because it's just, the way it's shot, it's just really 
well played out and mm-hmm. the and the dialect also like the I way have, they, the way they talk yeah the way they talk like a lot of slang for back then so i feel like that really just gives like attention to details when i saw wandavision i was like holy shit they hit it they hit the right point it even had the the 50 60 laughter oh the, the, laugh, the laugh, laugh track, track. Yeah. yeah it wasn't overdone either it was kind of subdued like it wasn't super loud yeah like it, it was there but like it didn't want to distract you from the story yeah you know? yeah i i noticed that too like it wasn't loud like like like, fucking, oh, like the big bang theory kind of loud fuck you got me too <laughs> <laughs> i got I where, fucking... where the guy's like penny <laughs> funny, 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 funny. Just hitting a bunny that's go like funny, funny, funny. Yeah, yeah. You ever uh, <laughs> see that one video where you they recorded like uh, that that uh, Big Bang Theory without the laughter, oh, and it's oh, so fucking yeah. cringe. Yeah. That that in the video where they count all the laugh track uses in in an episode, and it came out to like a hundred or some shit. It's too much. Fuck. It's fucking stupid. Every line, dude. Every line is fucking laugh track. Penny. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but, like, perfect use of laugh track in this one. Definitely not overdone. And it was subtle, so it was enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Right? And I actually felt like the humor was actually pretty spot on on this one. Yeah, it, it's, like, not my type of humor. It was kind but of like, corny. But, yeah, like, like you, if you get into the mindset of, like, uh, this is sort of, like, it's supposed to... Uh, like emulate, like emulate a '50s show, an, an old oldies type of show. You can enjoy the writing. Uh, you might not laugh or nothing, but like you find it enjoyable. What What about the episode stood up about you? Like stood out? Huh? Like the it the the way it kind of just sort of jumps in, like with no context. Okay. Even though, like it doesn't start off like super strong or nothing. It kind of just like sort of like slides in. You you start watching it and you're like, oh, is this maybe like um they're using Wanda Vision, or they're using Wanda and Vision to make this sort of old timey old school show with no connection to the Marvel universe at all. Uh, and that's like when when like the first ten minutes of it, I was like, oh, I guess this is what they're going for. Like, like not a gonna, standalone thing? Yeah, like a yeah. standalone thing where they're not going to... Like a spinoff sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Where they're not going to connect it at all to the to the, to the the MCU or the, you know, the actual universe. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, like, when once you catch on, you're like, oh... What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, that's basically the, 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 the first episode for uh, me. Like, no, one thing that honestly, like, stood out for me was the dinner scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah, the... The shots at the table when um yeah because like everything is shot so fifties but and the oh, yeah the I, the moment the dinner shot happens and uh, the, the close ups happen the, yeah the, the close ups happen face shots, yeah. like there's no music there's no like there's no music or like I don't and it didn't zoom it, in right away it just so slowly zoomed in so you barely like noticed it's on some yeah place. like it really gave it like an eerie vibe like something's off yeah and the yeah. way um. Like since they were having you know dinner dinner with the boss and all, and when mm-hmm. the boss was choking, the way the wife was just like saying, He's choking? like, oh stop it, <laughs> stop, stop it. it, stop it, just yeah. like so like robotic in a it, way, right? Just it, like it, without, it, yeah, yeah. It felt like a creepy pasta video where it's like, oh, it's like an innocently like innocent little video, and then all of a sudden it's like this super absurd sort of like off putting thing happens. Uh, yeah, because it's it's so subtle, but like yeah. just the camera angles, just the things going on, like holy yeah. shit, he holy shit he's choking. He's fucking he's fucking choking. He's, he's choking? gonna he's gonna die. Yeah, oh, and then it, the like just like in the same tone that stop it. Stop like, it. In the first when she said it like the first time well, like dumb bitch, he's choking. No no when she said it the first time, I, I'm like, oh it probably happens once in a while, like oh, he wants oh, to like, make. Oh, he pretends. Yeah, he just wants sometimes. to make like an act for the attention or something. Yeah. Like yeah. That. But then we kept like doing it, and then Wanda and Vision were just like staring out into the air, like <laughs> what, like what the fuck? Yeah, and then Wanda's like, <laughs> Wanda's like, what? Vision, help him, help him. Yeah, we, like, after the guy actually fell to the floor. Yeah, and like, then and then she kept going. Yeah. And then after that, they just left like nothing. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? Mm. Like I, f- I felt like that stood out for me a lot. Cause... By, the, by the way, Kitty from that seventy shows in this. Oh yeah. Uh, that's another that seventy show reference. They didn't make her do the laugh. That would have been nice. That would have been awesome, dude. <laughs> I fuck. I I fucking would have jizzed and shit myself. <laughs> I'm a big that seventy show fan. That's why. 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, any any other parts about the first episode? The first episode. Uh, the workplace. I guess. Well, which the well the workplace and the neighbor, Agnes. We should talk about her because Ooh. she kind of just appears out of nowhere. Well, yeah, she, like she kind of like b- like bombards, bombards Wanda. Like, she breaks in. She she basically like just like oh hey neighbor oh I'm gonna sit down on your couch right now. Yeah hey we're, hey neighbor you just move in but we're best friends now. Yeah, <laughs> and she was like super imposing, like super super imposing. Like uh, she wanted to know everything about her. Yeah, he's like oh is, does he have a big dick? Remember what like, during the dinner scene they they asked her like hey um where are you guys from? And why did you get, or why oh, did you yeah, get married? Oh, yeah, no, no, uh, it's another no. part of the dinner scene. Yeah, that's another part of the dinner scene, like, where the husband's wife. Oh, yeah, and, I mean, but, the then, boss's but, wife, but, I mean. but then, uh, the boss was, like, getting super angry. Yeah, it's like, 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 you shouldn't either know or, like, don't push it or something like that. Or because they weren't giving out the info, because like, they didn't Where know. did you come from? Why are you here? Like, like, in, like almost an interrogation. Mm-hmm. That's how immigration was at me. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah. Uh, I feel like we're moving a little into like speculation area right now. Yeah. So if anything, let's just move on to episode two. Episode two was Tag probably my, it's my favorite. I think. Yeah. You said, you said a little bit more. Like one, the bewitch intro. Oh yeah, dude, I love okay. that bewitch oh, intro. Oh my bewitch god, intro. dude, like that whole that animation. So, yeah, that was so good. It had, it had like very little music, but it just kept repeating the name the of the one division. It, it, it yeah. felt like those old school cartoons. Yeah. And it was just. Like again, this um, I could say the same thing about episode one as the same. Well, for episode two, it was sh- they dedicated really they dedicated the show to be like sixties one now. Mm-hmm. Like they the way it's shot, the way it looks, the way they talk, it, they just fully committed to it, mm-hmm. and it's just how should I say maybe expected of Marvel, but you know sometimes we don't get good th- good shows or good properties from reliable companies. So yeah. seeing it like. The dedication they put into this, yeah. like it, honestly, it's really nice. Yeah. I I uh. So what are we talking like positives about the second episode? Yes. I think I really want to talk about is when they uh, hang out at the bar and Vision gets a piece of chicle. Oh no, down. they weren't at the bar. They were at the library. At, library. at the library. Oh, oh yeah. I thought they were at the bar. And then oh, he, he fucking eats it. He fucking eats it. And he oh, fucking the, swallows the, it. <laughs> and uh, they they do the little cartoon animation of like the gears inside of him, like getting stuck by the, well, with the gum. And he oh, acts yeah. drunk throughout like the whole. Yeah, he acts retarded. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you should have known though. Like, if you if you saw the gum, weren't you like? Well, I mean, there? he didn't he didn't intend to swallow it. Like he was chewing it, and then like yeah, but someone smacked in the bag. Like, hey, isn't that right? <laughs> and, and then he <laughs> punches him in the back, <laughs> and then he like swallowed it by accident. So I could, I could see what I mean, but I, it was just really done. And I noticed that these two episodes really have, like, plots that were a lot like the old shows. Like, who eats dinner with their bosses nowadays? Uh, yeah. yeah. That was, like, more of a 50s, like, thing. To get like, the promotion. You gotta, like, like, you got to impress the boss or... Yeah, and then this one also, like, the plot, it felt really 60s also. It felt, like, Wait, really... Like, yeah, because, like, when, when you think of those old shows and those, like... Those houses, you think it's like suburbia, like a very tight knit kind of community. Yeah. And okay. so, like, I guess, like right at the beginning, right, like when the after the the great ass intro, uh, it just cuts to Vision doing like his old like his magician magician spiel with uh, with Wanda. So like they're they're doing something for the community and like, but it was the talent show to raise money for yeah, like, the for, school kids for the right? kids mm-hmm. for the kids uh, and like. It's a very simple premise, right? Which is which is what all those old shows are based on. Like this happens, and then oh, this this thing uh, fucks them up a little bit, and it kind of gets piled up, and then it gets resolved at the end. And yeah, it's all like a happy dude, ending at the fucking end. Fucking Vision is so nice. He has like the chillest voice. Like I could see why Wanda likes him. <laughs> Damn, we, we, oh, like over here simping for our Vision when they're in the bed and they're gonna and they fucked. Oh, well, they, 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 they insinuated that they they were gonna fucking. It was great. That episode was great. I like I like the premise. I really liked the second episode better than the first one. Yeah, well, it, it, more than it, the first one. The first one, it felt kind of just like a very. It was setting not setting the tone. Introducing you lightly. To the to Wanda and Vision and like how how they work within that universe uh, so, in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second one kind of just expanded on that like exponentially. It, it it was 
introduced a lot of a lot of new characters, like a lot of them with uh, uh well. Uh, the, like all the other women, and then the men for mm-hmm. the, the neighborhood watch. Okay, uh, and I feel like it did a pretty good job of introducing a lot of characters without it being forced. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it happened naturally, and you could tell which ones are the important ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, yeah. Honestly, you could definitely tell. But anything to add to it? What about the when they were when the wives were meeting? What was that for? Like it was just a the committee, right? Yeah, yeah just a committee a, to plan. okay. Because I was like, plan the, it was like so weird that they were the foreshadowing whatever. like kids because they were asking Wanda like, you know, about kids like hey. Well, even in the even in the first episode, yeah, she was like, uh, yeah, because when Agnes or whatever took her out they were like hey you know if you want to think about schools and stuff oh about, like, like yeah you... oh she'll help you with school admission you know just in case or whatever. what do you mean bro you can just go to more nice and just show up bro more nice imagine fuck you <laughs> back in the day when it was actually bro in the 60s more nice was already burned, burned down thir- like twice no, yeah burned down well it was already like 30 40 years old fuck dude damn bro it's crazy all right so uh something that stood out in this episode that i like, caught your attention the color the okay. color. It was when, just when black it, and white. What do you mean? <laughs> the color in those important, the very important scenes. So like the very first one would be the helicopter. The, the helicopter. When she finds a little helicopter the little in the helicopter bush. With the, Iron Man the, colors. The, the, yeah. I saw the Iron Man colors and the little symbol on the side, which is the sword with the circle around it, mm-hmm. which I don't, I'm not a Marvel fan. I you just like, either. like the MCU. I, I'm like, a, I'm not like a super deep fan. Yeah. So I'm like, like, I'm wondering if that's very important. <laughs> you're, looking at me, you're looking at me like you want to like suck my dick or something. Uh, <laughs> that, and then uh, the blood, the blood when the lady, which is another very important scene because it was it was it wasn't shot like a traditional, like the like the old school. Uh, oh, oh fuck, sorry, my bad. The old school '60s show, like it actually had like modern sort of uh, co- like, uh composition. Yeah, modern techniques and all. Because yeah. again, it uses modern techniques when something eerie comes up. Yeah, when something. Like, Out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Because, oh, we'll, we'll get more into it right now. Yeah. Because then they, then they just go to the talent show, right? Yeah, because, oh, the, the second use of color was when, uh, uh, I forgot what her, her name is. I'm just going to call her Regina because she's, she's the Regina George of that fucking show. When that blonde bitch crushes the... The glass? Well, we already talked about that. Yeah, the glass when the yeah, blood. Yeah, and, and then the blood. Well, we didn't, we didn't say that, that the blood was colored in. Because it was, it was it like was. it was red. Like the the whole show is black and white, but in the second episode when something important shows up, it's uh, in color. So when she finds the helicopter, it's red and red and uh, gold. When uh, Regina crushes the the glass, her blood is red. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then right, at the end of the right episode, right at the end when the whole world starts uh, being colored in. Yeah, it starts going from a '60s show to a '70s. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing they're gonna go through like the the decades and do like the major sort of influences for those shows. Oh God, I can never imagine the so, '90s, '70s show. <gasps> I wonder how the intro is gonna be. <laughs> Hanging up. That's not even a '70s show. It's a, it's a 2000s show. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for the next intro. Yeah. Well, anyway, now Easter eggs. We know Marvel like craps a lot of Easter eggs it into just their throws movies. Them. Yeah. They're like any second they can, they just throw them in there. So what are some Easter eggs in this one? Fuck, I like, like, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm not a huge Marvel enthusiast. So I like just looking at the, uh, just watching it. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to, like, look at a certain shot and be like, "Holy shit!" and rewind. Like I, I, I don't think I rewind at all in any of the, any of the, uh, throughout any of the episodes. Mm-hmm. But I did pay attention. So Holy like shit, the the, the commercials we forgot about. Well, yeah, well, no, yeah, well, well uh, this is an the, Easter egg. Those are the, the those are the major. Uh, that's the the two major things that I that I noticed in the shows because they're they're the most obvious ones. Yeah. So in the first commercial, like we, in, see, we see the toaster made by Stark, Stark in, Industries. Stark Industries. You know what's funny? Well, the way they introduce the toaster. Yeah, and then you you know if you listen, you can hear. Um, you know how like Iron Man shoots those lasers out of his hand? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The... You can kind of hear it when yes. the toaster pops up. Yeah, 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 I heard that too. I I barely heard that, but I I don't think I I like. What do you guys think? In the morning, in like the morning. Uh, of the toaster scene where it kept like beeping, like beep beep. I, I think, think it was like that, the... I, I think that is like 
I feel like that has something to do with it. I feel like that's for it's, foreshadowing. It's something. also that that commercial was kind of weird in and of itself too, because the way the the actors were acting and all that. Yeah, because the when it clo- when it closed up, when the sh- when the camera zoomed in on the lady, she was kind of like almost awkwardly acting, mm-hmm. or very like very like you said, ro- like uh, robotic, where she was like, oh, mm-hmm, like. The, the the way she was reacting didn't feel like she was actually acting out a commercial. Dude, okay. second commercial though. The second, I mean, the second commercial was super obvious too. The Hydro logo. The Hydro logo, the, yeah. Yeah, the Hydro logo, and also the name of the watch. What was it? I thought it. The the Stru- Struler? Struder. Uh, Strucker. 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 And like that's honest. That's like a really big, well, really important um, person because one. He's a person that's appeared in the movies and in Agents of Shield. Mm-hmm. He's like, uh, well, he was one of the, um, basically the one of the modern leaders of Hydra. Yeah. And he appeared in. Wasn't he the evil scientist? He was an evil scientist that appeared in Age of Ultron in the beginning, where they raid his lair, and he has his like monocle. Oh, and then in uh, not Civil War, uh, Winter Soldier, when they, when they snuck into the lab and his brain is like in the computer. No, no, no that's, not a, that's, him. A, that's a different one. Oh, no, yeah, this is a different one. He's and like I find it like cool that they included the Easter egg because he's the one that's responsible for giving uh, Pietro and Wanda their powers. Yeah, I remember and like, I forgot what movie it was, but in the post credit scenes where they show them having their powers, like uh-huh. experimenting with like the twins, uh-huh. like it was him. Like that's um, Strucker. So I felt like that was a pretty nice Easter egg to put in there because this is Wanda Vision. Should we just jump right into? Well. I have uh, one more Easter egg okay. that's going to jump right All into right. it. Go ahead. No, oh, go, okay. you go ahead. Okay, well, and then the other Easter egg is uh, one thing that you mentioned before. And how should I say? Well, to explain how the la- for the ending of the episode is, like when, when the first episode ends, it zooms out. And then we see that it's actually a TV that yeah, it's, it's, play, actually, it's playing the show. It's a TV playing the show, and there's someone like in modern era watching it. It yeah. just turns it off and closes a book, and we see the logo again, the shield with a circle. I mean the the um, shield with the sword, sword. or the, the, the circle sword. with the sword. Yeah, the, the you know, circle with the sword. I forgot what book. The book in the bookshelf had it too. Yeah, but like that's a reoccurring because that's a reoccurring thing that appears because this was also hinted in. Uh, Spider-Man movie, Far From Home, the last post credit scene. Because, oh, basically, sword is shield, but for space. That, like, for the same, uh, the same thing that shield does for Earth, sword does for, like, the galaxy. Oh, really? so, uh, oh. wouldn't that relate to uh, Captain Marvel, in a way? Mm-hmm. Because, like, at the end of, like, um, Hush- uh, Spider-Man, Far From Home, you see um, who we think is Nick Fury. But it turns it's out, oh, alien. It's, yeah, it's the is the, the, the alien the, covering the, for him while he's on vacation. Yeah, shift and shift well, <laughs> well, vacation, quote unquote. But yeah. he's actually in space, building a spaceship and all. Mm-hmm. And people say that's the beginning of sword, and this could tie right back in. What about shield? Well, shields are Earth. But sword and shield, bro. Pokemon, holy oh, shit! shit. Po- Dude. Pokemon, Pokemon <laughs> confirmed. Dude, now we could tag Pokemon to this movie, and bam! Oh my god! Views. Fucking Instant views. where's fat pussy Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna put any context to this. <laughs> you should put that right at the beginning of the episode. Hey, hey now. Well, what about uh, Agnes, the neighbor? Because those are uh, on Twitter. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's oh, also an Easter egg we, we right ju- there. We just. But we, we just talked about that. that before we recorded. Yeah, yeah. Really, we just found that Cause out. Because they were right saying now. that they were relating her to, like, uh, not a villain or something like that? But, like, just, a witch. Just a, a major, witch. major character from the comics. And then they were saying that the, the beekeeper. What did that lo- What was the logo he had in the back? Was it. I, I didn't catch it. I didn't even way. see logo. It was uh, uh, I thought it was back was like shadowed out. Blank, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess what the fuck was that? Oh, I guess that, that ties into the crackpot theories. Or, yeah. Well, you know what the fuck was that? Cause yeah. yeah. The, oh, here it is. The beekeeper logo was a sword. Who? All right. Who? Who from sword is a beekeeper? Fuck. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Bee man. But he seemed like a villain almost. The way he the came way up. the way the way he and the way he looked back at them and the Actually, way he like the it way was shot. she yeah and the way she, she yeah, yeah like I was saying uh, on Twitter they were saying that uh, Agnes's husband might be the villain Mep- Mephisto Mephisto isn't that the devil of the MCU I think so and that you know Wanda's just trapped in that 
parallel universe that he, he put you her think in. He's, you think she's in... But that goes into theories. Yeah. All right, well... well she's going right into yeah, theories. Speaking of theories, Stark, we all have our own different theories of what's going on because, you know, even though me it and... gave hints here and there, but we don't know what's going on and we mm-hmm. won't know until the ending of it. Mm-hmm. So who wants to go first? Uh, I guess I'll go first because I actually just learned new information right now. Like I said, I'm not a huge, big Marvel enthusiast. Me neither. So... But after immediately after finishing the first episode, mm-hmm. it 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 seemed very kind of clear to me that it's some sort of uh, either simulation or some sort of like illusion. Well, not like an illusion because it, it seemed kind of like technological in a, in a sort of sort of sense. Okay. But it yeah, kind of guess it, simulation more wise, like yeah, Matrix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Fuck another tag. <laughs> Matrix confirmed and then Keanu Reeves because because Matrix uh, Keanu Reeves in the Matrix too. Oh my god, dude! You know what we could tag with Keanu Reeves? Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, dude! Fuck, uh, <laughs> dude! Twenty seventy seven. Vision be like, if I want your body, Wanda, I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> uh, fuck, what was the title? <laughs> but yeah, it seems like a simulation more than anything. Uh, and in the second episode, it. Wanda is kind of the most important character in that because it it's more on Vision. No, no, Wanda is the most important because Vision, oh, Vision is dead. Okay. Because I thought you said supporting. Okay. Well, yeah, because Vision is dead in MCU, and then uh, because the the important events kind of single her out. Her out. Okay. So when she finds the, um, I guess in this in the first episode, nothing really happens besides the whole. Uh, dinner scene, but in the second episode, right at the beginning, when they when uh she finds the helicopter the with actual color with the with the sword logo on it, it was it was her that found it. Uh, and then again when uh Regina broke the glass and she cut her hand open, the the radio was singling her out, like literally calling her by name. Yeah, like well, like Wanda, who like, is doing this w- to you? Wanda, who's doing this for you? That, yeah. it's, like, it's like that's a very huge thing. So when like when when I was thinking about it, it's like Wanda is in some sort of simulation where she's like either imprisoned or like being kept from someone. You think it's like the simulation, like in the first Captain America, where he woke up and he and the oh, and, and they gave him a whole forties feel. But then, well, it wasn't. Well, it was a simulation. It was a like, set. It was yeah. a set. Yeah, but it was kind of like oh shit, we fucked up. Let's do it better next time. Because remember in the first Captain America, he he realized like, hey, well, what happened? I well, know this is fake because uh, that baseball game. I like, was there. I was there. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, but like, well, he was asleep for like seventy years or eighty years or whatever. Damn, Wanda was awake. Well, Wanda was in fucking Infinity War, or was it in the end Endgame? Game. She was, yeah. She was. So something must have happened. So, something right must have happened Endgame. between Endgame and and WandaVision, where she's either in some sort of a uh, prison or some sort of like safe keep, like limbo almost. <laughs> yeah. Well, her and, mind seems to be in limbo. And with maybe that with with the whole, uh, with the Hydra and then the sword thing. I'm thinking maybe sword is keeping her from Hydra. But okay. then also maybe Hydra is trying to like infiltrate it, in some sort of way. Yeah. All right. Well, for my theory, is this okay? My theory is the scrolls have her captive for whatever reason. All right, and they're using their brain analyzer we see in Miss and like um, Captain Marvel. I haven't seen Captain Marvel. Who the fuck are the scrolls, bro? I... <laughs> the one we used to, the aliens we just talked about. Yeah, the ones that shapeshift. Oh, so, okay. Well, they use in Captain Marvel. They use a thing like a, a machine that analyzes her brain and replays her thoughts and stuff like that. Do you think it's that and mysterious devices from? I mean, far from home. That's. That's adding someone completely different. So yeah. I'm like, what? Like, you're just saying, oh, might as well just add, like, oh, you know what? Who else behind this? Rocket Raccoon. Because oh, fuck dude, it, why I not? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we see a yeah. raccoon, confirm. No, but basically, my theory is that scrolls have ca- captured her for whatever reason. You know, some are good, but some are bad. And they're using brain anal- analyzer to get something from her, get information mm-hmm. from her. That's why in the simulations, they keep asking her questions, like an interrogation. Who did like, this to her? No, like, where are you from? Who are you? Uh, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from and all? I feel like they're trying to get a source of where she is and like where she gets her powers from because she's powerful as fuck. And mm-hmm. Sword is the one that's actively trying to get her back. No, I feel like 
she she realized where she was in the second episode because like. Or like, like she's starting to like her oh, powers was... got like a little stronger. That's why she saw color, like everything turned back into color. In and then way. when she like turned back time, basically, or was that what? Do you think that was her? So yeah, I, I mean, at this point, I don't know, man. Because did she snap her fingers and then, or what? Did well, she... she she said no. And then like turned it, back. It, it, it went so back. her powers were just getting stronger. In a oh way. yeah, she got pregnant. How? Oh yeah. Wait, hold up. Yeah, she got pregnant. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck does a robot come? In apparently Wanda. Oh, <laughs> I wish oh I yeah, but in. I wish I was coming in Wanda. <laughs> what the fuck? You, you think she used her powers? Probably. <laughs> Stole some. I mean, she guys fucking. Come. She like teleported people. Maybe she teleported a baby into her. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, to to wedlock Vision. Dude, what if it's uh, Chris Evan as a baby? Because uh, he's coming back. Yeah, I think we're going all over the place yeah. right now. <laughs> but it works. Think about it, bro. <laughs> it works. Think about it. I'd rather not. You know what? what if it's just you know fuck it? What if it's Rocky Raccoon's baby too? Continue with your theory because I think because Lewis just threw you off track. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember where I was with my theory. Uh, the brain analy- brain analyzer. Uh, basically, yeah, Shrew's using brain analyzer that's gonna eventually lead to Secret Wars. But like either way, like I say, they're trying just trying to get information from her, and um, so that's why when the Beekeeper came up, you know, the Sword Beekeeper. The people who were controlling it were like, nope, and reversed it so oh, it didn't happen. Because they don't want her to catch on? Yeah, they don't want her to get saved. Oh, I see where you're going with this. That theory sucks. Yeah. It has no basis at all. Mine was better. It's, There's no evidence for that. I was going to say it's better than Lewis. Is it like Wanda getting the baby from Rocket Raccoon or something? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like the only logical explanation. I just feel like she's in a simulation that... Like you said, they're trying to get info out of her, but I feel like they want to revive Vision in a way, because you know how like most of the shit that was going on was because of Tony Stark. So maybe if, like if they revive Vision, they can probably get like info on Tony, kind of keep the mantle alive because Tony died in yeah. Endgame. So they probably like, oh, you know what? Who's the closest thing that knows too much about her besides the wife, the fucking robot, the Siri. The basically Tony's creation. Yeah, bro. So they, like he would know everything. You're like and, and and then give it Tony's to like personal butler. Yeah, and give it to Tom Hanks or Tom Holland or Tom Holland. Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Also, <laughs> dude, Tom Holland went to Holland. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I forgot about that. Damn. Yeah, see, that's my theory right there. That's your theory that they're gonna give like all the info to the fucking Tom Holland, and he's gonna be like, okay, I guess I'll be the next Tony Stark or to his daughter. Because um, this um, this series is a precursor to Multiverse of Madness. So we're definitely going to see something crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, honestly, check out WandaVision. It's streaming right now on Disney+. Plus and really good show overall. A lot of Easter eggs if you look at them right. And a lot of speculations, uh, speculations going on. So we won't, know until, and we won't know what happens until the end. So we just got to stay tuned. So stay tuned for next week for the next epi- on Fuck episode we, three breakdown. We got to do this again. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got to show him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. right. Did we miss any Easter eggs or anything at I'm all? I'm sure we did. I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure there's some mega fucking nerd yeah, some virgin fucking... loser. Who's yeah. Like, oh, look, look at what Wanda's wearing Why'd here. you look at me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> look at what Wanda's wearing right here. She, she wears this in like episode, not episode, like comic. comic, comic one, in like two, three, the third six, issue. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's like a communist or some shit. If we miss any Easter eggs that you caught on, make sure you comment those Easter eggs because we're happy to read them too. Yeah. Let us know if you're a fucking virgin loser. 